this is Heidi. Welcome to the Pancake Channel. And this week we are going to make zucchini pancakes. And so we're just going to get started. Um, the first thing we're going to do is add our dry ingredients. And the first thing we're going to do is use um, some kamut. And I already pre-measured this and it's just two cups of kamut flour. And um, we ground that this morning so it's nice and fresh. And if you don't have kamut, you can always use uh, wheat flour. Uh, we try not to use too much wheat flour. Uh, so if that's your only option, you could do that. Uh, the next thing we're going to add is some quinoa flour, and you can grind this yourself. Uh, we chose to just buy it in bulk, and so this is a cup of quinoa flour. And quinoa is not really a grain, uh, it's more of a seed, so it's not part of the grass family. And quinoa um, is kind of related to beetroots and spinach and tumble leaves actually. And it's considered a superfood, gluten-free, and it's high in protein and amino acids, uh, phosphorus, magnesium, calcium, and iron, and uh, which makes it great for someone who may be a vegan because it's uh, great for your bone density. Uh, so the next thing we're going to add is our baking soda and baking powder, and I pre-measured these, and this is going to be a tablespoon of baking powder, and a two teaspoons of baking soda, so. And then I added a little bit of sweetener to this recipe, and this is sucanut, which is natural sugar cane. And I've talked about this before, um, and it's as clean as you can get to sugar the way it's supposed to be, and it actually has nutrients in it. So we try to use this when we can to avoid white sugar, which is totally void of um, anything good. And so this is going to be a half a cup of sucanut. My daughter's making signs. She said a rock. <laughs> That's cute. Okay. So this is going to be our dry ingredients, except for our nutmeg. You can always count on your kids to make you smile. And now we're going to add our nutmeg, and it's actually going to be a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Alright, so there's our nutmeg, and we got all of our dry ingredients in here, so I'm just going to whip them together here really quick. And now we're going to add our wet ingredients, which would be our zucchini. I and mean, we had a lot of zucchini come through our co-op box this summer and we're now in November, or actually December, so uh, we didn't eat it all, so we went ahead and ground it all in our um, food processor. I guess we didn't grind it, we actually shredded it. So it's coming in handy now because it's a frozen item. So this is our zucchini, and it's a cup. So. And we're gonna add in the juice of half of a lemon, which I already did, and two cups of water. And I'm also going to add in a half a teaspoon of sea salt. I almost forgot that. And I do realize this is not a proper utensil for cooking or baking, but I'm going to use it anyway. So just because my zucchini gets caught up in my whisk, so I'm just going to mix this together. like us and share us and um, comment or something like that 
and uh, go to YouTube and like our channel and subscribe to it. And you can also um, take a picture of your pancakes if you make them and hashtag it TPC <laughs> Zucchini Pancakes. And you can post that on Instagram and Twitter and we would love that. So thanks for watching the Pancake Channel and we'll see you next week. Yes. Ha 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 ha!